one of the problems I have, um, especially when I have multiple computers or if I, when I used to work for somebody else, uh, was keeping track of all my bookmarks. I would find a site maybe at work and email it to myself at home or I find a site at home and email it to myself at work, the URL, or email it to my wife. And um, it really became a real cumbersome process to keep up good URLs. And Google fixed this with something they call bookmarklets. And if you got the newest Google toolbar, you have bookmarklets built into it because you have a little bookmark um, icon. And how this works is when you're browsing the web and run across a site you really want to keep track of, you can bookmark this site. So I'm going to tell it to bookmark this site. Then they got something called labels. Labels is just folders. Think of it that way. Um, I'm going to type in search engine for this site. Click OK. Now, when you arrive at that site for now, it will have a little star next to bookmark. It's telling you that it's bookmarked. When you go searching through your bookmarks, you know the search engines is in there. And the site I just bookmarked, ask.com, is in there. You might be saying, wow, well, that's great. I can do that normally with my favorites. Yes, you can. But now I can log on any computer that has the Google toolbar. It'll sign into the bookmarks with my address and password and have access to my bookmarks. Now, I'm using Internet Explorer for this example, but close Internet Explorer and go to Firefox. There's a great plugin for Firefox called gbookmarks. And it works the same way. Um, it reads the Google Bookmarks for you. And you notice the search engine I just added using Firefox is also in my Google Bookmarks. Now that's incredible because now I can be anywhere and have access to my bookmarks. I can let my wife log in to my bookmarks using um, my username and password to my Gmail bookmarks. And she can see all my bookmarks because this might be something in there that we share that she needs to see. But G bookmarks can be found at www. This is for you Firefox people. R J O N N A dot com. You can click download Firefox extensions. Firefox Google bookmarks. Just click here to download. It tells you how to install it. You shut down your browser once you install it. Open it back up, and next time you start it, you have the G bookmarks option up top. Once you log into G bookmarks you have access to all your Google bookmarks and again this works for both Firefox so whenever I add a um, site in Firefox so I want to just briefly add this site underneath um, I'm going to stick it under programming for whatever purposes okay I'm going to go into my bookmarks folder go into programming It didn't show up for whatever reason. It will in a second, though. We open up our Firefox. Our once you in use the bookmark on under Google. Open up Internet Explorer. All right, let's go to Internet Explorer now, and we can go to our bookmarks. Look under Programming. And whatever our, they called their website, I should have read the title. All right, open up Internet Explorer, go to my bookmarks, go to programming, find uh, 
main page as it's called. The author should have gave his site a better title, but you can edit that too when you add your bookmarks. But that bookmark's now in my Internet Explorer. So you see both browsers are sharing the bookmarks, which is great. And it's not stuck on any computer at all. You can use it anywhere on any computer. All you have to do is log into your Google Bookmarklets account and have instant access to all your bookmarks.